Hey guys, welcome to The Untidy Artist. Today we are making beaded hair clips, and these you can make in lots of different colors because there are so many beautiful colors of seed beads. I thought it would be fun to do some for the 4th of July. Let's grab our supplies. First thing you'll need is some barrettes. Uh, these measure about an inch and three quarters, and you can see there's a little spring inside that we'll actually remove when we're uh, putting the wire and the beads around the clip. Wire cutters and some round nose pliers, some wire that's a 26 gauge, and some seed beads. And I've got these in different colors of red, white, and blue. And you'll need something to measure with. The first step is to measure out 20, about 25 inches of our wire. This doesn't need to be exact. Uh, we're measuring out a little bit extra so we have room to move the beads around. After you've cut your wire, we're going to attach it to the barrette. So open up the barrette and take out the prong that's inside and just set that aside. And working from the front of your clip, you're going to thread the wire from the bottom up through the little hole up through the top, fold it around, and then loop it back through. So we're working with the smaller end of the wire. You'll be looping it through the side of the clip twice. If you would like, you can use the pliers to pull the wire tightly. Once it's secure, pull the short end of the wire towards the middle of the clip and trim the wire, leaving about a half an inch. We'll be putting the beads over that part. The beads will cover up the sharp end of the wire. Now start threading your beads onto your wire and you'll thread three on and thread them on in a color pattern that you like. And pull them down towards the clip and lay them over the top of the clip at the very end and then wrap the wire around once. Then grab three more beads. Pull them up towards the clip and wrap it around once and then take your wire around one time without any beads on it, once again at the very end of the clip. And then we're going to wrap the wire from the outside prong of the clip to the inside prong of the clip. Grab three more beads, wrap them around once, and then take your wire around one more time without any beads in it to secure it on the other side of the prongs. And then you'll just continue to grab three beads at a time, wrapping them around. Make sure that the wire is pulled tight each time and that the beads are laying flat. When you get to the end of the clip, you'll want to wrap your last row of beads around the outside part of the clip. So once again, moving from the inside part of the prong to the outside part of the prong, lay on your last row, and then wrap your wire around one last time, tightly securing it into place. I'm using size six seed beads, so on a clip that's an inch and three quarters, I have 13 rows of beads. Then loop your wire through the hole in the clip twice, just like we did in the beginning. And then you're going to take that last piece of wire and loop it up through the top of the clip underneath the beads, pull it up through the top of the beads and pull it towards the center. And then we're going to clip off the end of the wire as close to the beads as possible. This will hide the sharp end of the wire so you don't have any sharp parts of wire on your clip. And then put your prong back inside the clip. This is why we want to make sure we have the wire pulled tight so the prong will fit in there snugly. And that's it. Your beaded clip is finished. Please post any comments or questions you have below. Subscribe for more videos and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching.